Greetings radio people, welcome back to Lamco Labs. We are once more deep in the bowels of LAN communications. Today I wanted to do a quick video once again with the shiny IC7610 and show you how to configure that with Ham Radio Deluxe for all the digital modes you might want to run, including using a CW keyboard and FSK RTTY, all using just a single USB cable. So let's get on with it. So before we actually start to use Ham Radio Deluxe, we need to check a couple of settings in the radio. First of all, we're going to go to Menu, Set, Connectors, CIV. And when we get there, we're going to check that the settings are as you see on the screen now. I don't believe any of these have actually been modified. I think they're all at the default setting. But the 98 hex is the only thing that's of particular interest here. We'll use that again in a few minutes. The second screen of the CIV settings, these are both changed. CIV USB board rate I've set to 57600 and the USB echo back I've switched on. As I explained in my previous video, I couldn't get any communications at all to work with the radio until I changed that setting. The other thing we're going to go to is um, menu, set, connectors, and then USB send and keying. We're going to make sure USB send is off. That's uh, sending, putting the radio PTT line down the USB cable. We don't want to do that. Instead, we want to use CW and RTTY keying. So we'll set the CW to be USB 1B RTS and USB 1B DTR for RTTY. I'll try and explain what that means. So when you set up your uh, IC7610 and you connect it to your radio for the first time, you should always install the driver first. But once you've done that and you connect the USB cable, you should get two USB virtual USB ports installed. Now in my example, I've got lots of other rubbish in this computer, but in my example they're 11 and 13. There's no way to distinguish between the two in Device Manager, which you get to by right-clicking on My Computer, selecting Properties, and then clicking on Device Manager. And then you need to open up, expand the port section to have a look at this. But the bottom, the lower of the two numbers by default, will be the one that we're using for cap control, so that Ham Radio Deluxe will use to read the frequency and control the radio. The higher of the two numbers, in my case COM13, is the one that we're going to use for CW and RTTY keying. So, what this is saying here, USB 1, that's the connector on the back of the radio, and B means it's going to use the second of the two ports, so in my case that's COM13. If this was A, that would be COM11 in my example. But we don't need to worry too much about the detail, just set this to be USB 1B RTS, USB 1B DTR, and make a note of the two numbers that we've got here, and one will be higher than the other. Those are the two critical things we need to do. So let's start Ham Radio Deluxe. I've already got this configured, but what I'm going to do is set up a new setting. So I'm going to click New. So we're going to select Company Icon, Radio IC7610, COM11, and that's the lower of the two numbers that you can see in Device Manager. 576, that's the number that we configured when we set up the USB board rate. So that's that number there, very important. And the 98 that you see in there is the CIV address. Now by default that's 98 for the 7610 and you'll see that that number is there. That's the 98 hex that you can see there. So once you've set up those four things you don't need any of this set. We can click connect and straight away the radio should connect to Ham Radio Deluxe. It's now reading the frequency. This is the main frequency I've got and my, my BFOB is set on here. If I hit the change button on the radio you'll see that those two will swap around. So this is working exactly as I would expect it to work. But what I wanted to show you, the bit that's of interest, is in the DM780 part of the software. So let's launch the sound card application. And what we're going to do now is go into Program Options. And within Program Options, there's a number of settings you'll need to do, but the ones that are critical here. First of all, PTT. We're going to key the radio via Ham Radio Deluxe. And what that means is that we're going to use cap control effectively to key the radio, so an instruction to the radio to go into PTT rather than a physical line switching. So that's the way we're going to control PTT. And then we need to go to modes and ID. And on the CW tab, we're going to enable serial COM port sending, serial port 13, so it's the higher number of the two that we looked at earlier, which I've lost now, but they're in here. So COM 13 and then RTS. So if you remember when we set here, we said in this setting window, 
we said that the CW keying was going to be via RTS of USB 1B. So USB 1B is COM13 and we need to use the RTS line. Similarly for RTTY, we're going to enable FSK keying, enable here, same COM port, but instead of RTS, we're going to select DTR. And that corresponds to the setting that we've got here, USB 1B DTR. So that's the two settings that you need to do here. I've also selected the ASU FTDX 3991 because they work in exactly the same way as this ICOM does. The ICOM's not listed as an option, but that's working for me, and I would imagine you'd, you would need to set that up. The other thing we need to check quickly is that we go to the sound card settings and make sure, where, if you looked at the last video I did, I renamed the sound devices from the radio so they're easier to find. But the input device needs to be the audio from the radio and the output device needs the, to be the audio to the radio. So that's the configuration done. So what I'm going to do now is tune my rig into some CW. Hopefully I can find some. I need to make sure that my um, mode is selected to CW. So you should now see that the, the, the Ham Radio Deluxe is now successfully decoding the CW that I'm receiving off air. Need to find a bit more. So that's working perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is just find a bit of frequency that's not in use. And I'm going to just try and hit the send button. So we need to make sure that break-in is enabled on the radio. But it should be just a case of hitting send and typing something in. So I think you get the idea. So that's sending CW, so that's working now. So I can use the keyboard to send CW. I can also use all the macros that have been set up here and all of the other clever stuff that this will do. I don't want to go into any of that detail now. The other thing to show you quickly though is if you go to RTTY FSK, I can't actually find any RTTY signals on the band at the moment, but if you were to put the radio into RTTY mode and you were to find some signals, you need to make sure you click on the, uh, click on the signal in the waterfall to make sure it decodes at the right point of the audio spectrum. But that would decode this, the uh, FSK up here. And let me get that right. You need to make sure you select FSK, RTTY 45 FSK up here. So the decoded RTTY would come up here. And again, if you were to type in here or use the macros or whatever you want to set up, that would now transmit automatically. And FSK means that the, the rig is generating the tones. So you don't need to worry particularly about overdriving or any of the other problems that go along with AFSK modes. This is by far the best way to run RTTY. So I hope you found this useful. Any comments, as usual, get back to LAN communication.